Hello, I'm Josh from NRS, and today we're going to talk about the maintenance and care of your NRS barrel pump. The NRS barrel pump's a great pump because it's very simple to use and take care of. Uh, we sell replacement pieces for all of these things, uh, with the exception of the main body housing and the bottom plate. Starting from the top down, we have our handle and shaft, which are sold separately or together. Our top cap, our piston with removable or replaceable tabs, and our O-ring. Inside the very bottom plate, we have a check valve, which allows for one-way airflow, connected to an elbow, which is connected to our hose. Depending on how often you use your pump, it's important to at least give it annual maintenance, if not more frequently. Um, there's always the possibility of sand and grit and water getting into the pump and prematurely wearing down your components and taking some of the grease away with it. The pump actually operates by forming an airtight seal between the sidewall, the O-ring, and the piston. And as you push down, it's pushing air through the hose and out into your boat. To start cleaning your barrel pump, it's pretty simple. You're gonna to wanna to remove the top assembly from the bottom. Remove any screws you find in the top cap. There's usually at least one, if not two. Drape the webbing over the handle, both feet firmly on the bottom of the pump. Do a quick up motion. The webbing will grab the handle, pulling the top cap right off. Once I have the pump disassembled, it's a pretty easy process of cleaning, regreasing, and reassembling. To clean the pump, I use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and a rag. I start at the piston and the O-ring, cleaning everything off there, even above, getting the most amount of gunk out I can. Cleaning the interior of the pump walls all the way down to the ground, getting the spare O-ring out that's in the bottom, cleaning that out, getting the most amount of gunk out is important because it will help extend the life of the new grease that you're about to put into the pump. Once I'm done cleaning, I'm going to go ahead and grease everything up with some white lithium grease. The white lithium grease works well, um, and it comes in either a dope form or a spray can form. Either one works fine. I'll start, do the entire piston, getting the edges nice and goped up. Do the O-ring, same thing, all the way around. And then I'll push in about six inches into the pump and do a nice ring around the entire pump. And when I reassemble, the grease will get pushed down into the pump. Reassembly is basically the exact opposite of disassembly. The only trick you're going to want to know about is putting the piston in at an angle so that you can get, uh, get it in there without pinching the O-ring. If after reassembling uh, you find that you're not getting the proper amount of pressure out of the hose, you'll probably want to stretch the O-ring. Uh, over time these will shrink. It's a pretty simple process of pulling everything apart, stretching out the O-ring, putting it back together going through a few of those trial and errors, just stretching it out a little bit of it at a time until you get that proper amount of seal. If you break the O-ring uh, throughout this process, there's also the O-ring in the base of the pump as well that you can use. If you have any questions about the NRS barrel pump or pumps in general, please give us a call or visit our website at nrsweb.com. are sold separately or together. We have our top cap, no, it's okay. I keep screwing things up. You're 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 the least of our worries. I keep wanting to say top hat. <laughs>